Hi, this is Sam Smythe from Smythe Reporter Car Service. We're working on a 1961 Triumph TR3. I'm going to show you right here. There's the suspension and all that neat fun stuff. The bearing's stuck on there. We've got to get off of there. Some goofy brake hoses that are too old that need replaced and whatnot. Um, mechanicals we're rebuilding. I don't have them here in front of me. I just wanted to show you the reason why and what's going on. This is what a new rotor looks like. Obviously, this is the old rotor. Um, but if you look right here, see the scoring and all the different marks, and it's like hit and miss. That's that's a warpage, because that should be even all the way around. It's got some all the way around, but not a lot. So we've got some warpage here, and of course tons of rust. Um, we're going to use the hub assembly in here, but we're going to clean that out. And uh, the bearings in here, and the bearing grease is just it's just garbage. It's just it's just liquid garbage. So we're going to use 22,000 pound rated RV grease that costs, you know, instead of the, whoever put this crap in, costs like, you know, one cent for 10 pounds. Our stuff's going to be like $30 for a tube, you know, small tube. And we're going to make sure that if water, they submerge this in water, it won't, it won't hurt and it'll still lubricate. So anyway, with that being said, we wanted to show you what a set of uh, brake rotors and wheel bearing assemblies, how you want to go after them. Now, uh, when you know whether there's good bearing or not, you can clean the grease off, but a lot of people think, you know, just dirty grease, bad bearing, this or that, or mileage, and that's not the case. What you'd actually see is little straight lines going down like that. Some scoring around like this in a circle does not necessarily mean the bearing's bad um, or the race is shot. It's when you see straight lines. Definitely race and bearing shot. Um, but in a restoration process and you're doing this, uh, we had some sticky piss and drove down the road, hit the, hit the brakes, and wanted to pull you off into a ditch. So, uh, obviously, it's not just all calipers, it's a series of events um, that need done uh, from steering wheels, tires, to brakes, to you name it, when, you, when there's no service orders on these cars. So, and uh, we're going to clean all this stuff up. We're going to make it look like new. Uh, another tech clean the timing chain area up. We got going on. We got on these cars. You have to take the whole front ends off, the whole front ends off in a box. So um, we're going to do that. We're, we've got our big belt, new hoses. And try and get Kevlar hoses if we can. Um, using semi-metallic brake pads, uh, made in England hoses, um, and then we're using a new hardware where we can to fit it these fasteners and everything in here it's all stainless steel so you know you can paint over these and before he gets if he doesn't have time right now he wants to drive it it's not going to be rusting so we pre-think uh, pretty much everything out here at Sam Smythe Imports we've been in business since uh, the company was founded in Ireland in 1934 uh, we've been in the same area location I opened here between the late 70s early 80s I incorporated in 82 so I know that for sure um, so we've been in here in Sims Township, bordering Indian Hill for years and years now. So um, give us a call. Our mobile number is mobile.smythimports.com. That will get you uh, to our website information and telephone numbers. Or you've got www.smythimports.com. It gets you to the big site. And uh, that gallery is not just pictures of cars. Click on those pictures. It will open up chains of events of things we've worked on, cars we've worked on. There's one car in there that if you click on it opens up another 120 cars behind it deep um, where you can see. Now not every car we worked on but it does show you the cars we do work on or have worked on but we may not have a picture for. So but we're, I think you get the drift um, and then we're the only authorized independent um, service facility for Bentley motor cars. Somebody asked us once, what does that mean? You can't be both. Either you're authorized or you're not. Well, no, sorry there, big guy. Uh, you can be an authorized independent, be able to get all the tools, all the parts, all the information um, out of Crew England by being an authorized independent, but not having the responsibilities of a new car dealership. Um, especially if your only interest in it is servicing the automobiles. So, you know, we're actually doing Bentley a favor while they're doing us a favor. Um, we're creating another location in between Bentley dealers. So if something needs looked at, they can look forward to saying, well, pop in there, let them have a quick look at it, you know, and uh, make it more uh, uh, better for the customer. 
you know, the more for service facilities, the better off the customer is if he has a little failure of a part than to maybe drive a car long distance and do some damage or hurting to it. So anyway, with that being said, uh, there is a big difference and those are some of the differences. Uh, like I said, tools, parts, information, uh, that sort of thing. Our distributor is Jack Barkley out of London. So um, if you need any verification there, you can contact them. I don't know if they're doing the program anymore. It was wide open for everybody. Um, we've been doing it for several years now, but uh, I, I don't know if it's even open. We were uh, obviously VW North America uh, gave us the blessing, but we also had to get the in, in there the owners, but we had to get the blessing from crew, and that's where the hard, tricky part is. Uh, at least that's what North America said. Uh, they don't like you. You're not getting in. It's just that simple. So um, you got to meet all these uh, apprentice uh, uh, things and all these circumstances so we were able to have met all those thank god so that was cool so anyway we'll just get back to this triumph we do these triumphs don't think we're not charging rolls royce bentley price everybody here's one price one labor price and it's per hour and that's just the way it is so you know don't let that cost fool you or things like that you know labor rates people like to say oh well we're at 85 an hour he's at 100 in an hour yeah well the guy doing it at 85 could take three hours and the guy doing it at 100 could take a half an hour so you know, don't disregard us as, you know, get all scared because you pull your car in and you think, oh, I'm bringing my little Triumph in. There's five or six Bentleys sitting here and you think all of a sudden now it's, it's going to be way too much money. No, everybody gets treated equally, you know. It's just the way it goes. Uh, Bentley seems to pays the same price as Triumph and Triumph pays the same price as Bentley. But we just do what we need to do to keep the overheads paid and have a job. That's it. So once again, I'm Sam Smiley, Cincinnati, Ohio. Numbers 513-793-0434. Thank you.